Once the installer finishes physical installation of the product, Installer needs to set the detail functions and user preference for each specific case by using Installer Setting Menu. Therefore, understanding and setting the Installer Setting Menu will not only help to take full advantage of our product, but also avoid malfunction of the system. Please note that in this instruction video, some menu may not be available depending on the product and or the name of the menu may be different. In this case, please refer to the Installer Manual for details. Entering the installer setting. First, to enter the installer setting menu, in the menu screen, press left and right button to move to the setting category and press up button for 3 seconds to enter the password input screen. Initial password is the number of the software version of the remote controller, which can be found on the lower right hand side of the screen. For example, if the number of the software version is 1.001a, the password is 1001. Input the password and press OK button to enter the installer setting list. 3 minutes delay 3 minutes delay function is designed for factory use only. Please do not use this function on site. It temporarily eliminates the 3 minute delay operation of the outdoor unit compressor. Select temperature sensor. Therma V can be operated according to air temperature, water temperature, or air plus water temperature. By using temperature sensor menu, you can choose control method as you wish. The default setting is water temperature. So if you need to change, select temperature sensor category and press OK button to move to the detail screen. There are three selection options under control standard category. Water, air, and air plus water. And sensor location is activated only if you select the control standard as air or air plus water. In the sensor location menu, you can choose two options between remote controller and indoor unit. Remote controller option means to use the air temperature sensor embedded in the sender remote controller. And indoor unit option means to use the external air temperature sensor sold separately. Use heating tank heater. Use heating tank heater is to determine how to utilize the boost heater for hot water operation. DHW heater sets whether to use boost heater only for the disinfection work or not. Priority sets whether to operate hot water operation with mainly refrigerant cycle or to operate refrigerant cycle and the boost heater to reach the target temperature. And the delay time is the time from the start of the hot water operation to the start of the boost heater operation. It can be selected from 10 to 1440 minutes. Add zone. Add zone is to use the second circuit function. And you can set three things. Whether or not to use this function, valve closing time for mixing valve, and hysteresis temperature. After selecting use in the use added zone menu, you can see the current and target temperature of second circuit on the main screen. Valve closing time means the time it takes for mixing valve to fully close and you can select from 60 to 999 seconds and default setting is 240. You have to set this closing time as per the valve specification. Hysteresis is the marginal temperature for determining the operation and stop of the compressor based on the target temperature. It can be set from 1 to 5 degrees Celsius. Use external pump. The use external pump is to mark whether external pump is installed or not. If external pump is installed, it should be set to use. If you set this menu as heat and cool, the external pump operates so that water only flows to underfloor. RMC Master Slave. RMC master slave function allows you to select which remote controllers to set as master and slave, where two remote controllers are used for one unit. Some functions such as installer setting are restricted in slave controller, and user functions are only available for slave controller. However, when controlling based on the air temperature, the air temperature sensor of master controller is overridden. An air temperature sensor on the slave controller is used for control. 
LG Therma V configuration. LG Therma V configuration is a function to load or save the information set in the LG Heating Configurator PC tool from micro SD card. Read data reads the information from micro SD card and apply them to installer setting. And save data saves the installer setting information in micro SD card. First operation. When product is not used for a long time, the water pump is forced to operate to prevent the pump failure and freezing of plate heat exchanger. Operation cycle is to set how long it can be remained stopped until water pump needs the forced operation. Operation time sets the time duration for the first operation, and it can be selected from 1 to 10 minutes. Pump pre-run, overrun. Pump pre-run, overrun sets the delay time of the starting and stopping the water pump operation. Pump pre-run is the time water pump starts the running before the compressor running. Pump overrun is the delay time for water pump to stop after compressor stops. You can select from 1 to 10 minutes for both, and default values are 1. Pump capacity After installation of the unit, the installer has to adjust water pump capacity considering actual head loss of the system in order to ensure optimal running condition for water pump. In this menu, you can adjust water pump capacity from 10 to 100%. And keep in mind to set it above minimum water flow rate. In addition to fixed pump capacity, delta T control is also available. This automatically changes the flow rate while keeping the gap between inlet and outlet water temperature constant. Password initialization Password initialization is to initialize the password for entering the installer setting list. After the initialization, the password is automatically reset to 0000. Heating, cooling, temperature setting. Heating and cooling temperature setting functions are to select whether to control based on the inlet temperature or outlet temperature when Therma V is controlled based on the water temperature. Air heating set temperature. For heating mode, the heating temperature can be controlled based on the indoor air or water temperature. If your heating mode is controlled by indoor air temperature, you can determine maximum and minimum temperature by using air heating set temperature function. You can set the minimum temperature between 16 to 22 degrees Celsius and the maximum temperature between 24 to 30 degrees Celsius. The default setting for minimum and maximum are 16 and 30 degrees Celsius respectively. Water heating set temperature. If your heating mode is controlled by water temperature, you can determine maximum and minimum temperature by using water heating set temperature function. You can set the minimum temperature range between 20 to 34 degrees Celsius in case the backup heater is not used and between 15 to 34 degrees Celsius with the backup heater. You can set the maximum temperature between 35 to 65 degrees Celsius. The default setting for minimum and maximum are 15 and 65 degrees Celsius respectively. TH on, off variable. TH on and off variable function is to adjust the offset temperature for thermal on and off according to the field environment in order to offer optimized heating and cooling operation. There are four settings related to thermal on and off variables. Heating air, heating water, cooling air, and cooling water. For more detail, you can refer to the installation manual. Pump setting in heating and cooling. There are two pump settings, one for heating and one for cooling. It is to determine how to operate the water pump when compressor is stopped. By using type, you can choose whether to operate the water pump continuously or at a certain interval period when compressor is stopped. On means the duration of pump running time, and off means duration of pump stop time. It can be selected from 1 to 60 minutes for both on and off.
screed drying. Screed dry setting is to help cure new cement floor after the construction by using floor heating for a certain period of time. The curing process is consisted of 11 steps. However, you do not have to start from step 1. If you wish, you can start anywhere from 1 to 11 step by selecting starting step under step category. Maximum curing temperature can be defined between 35 to 55 degrees Celsius under maximum temperature category. Lastly, we can choose how long you want to hold step 8 stage. You may hold this stage from 1 to 30 days. The detailed temperature profile is presented on the screen. This information is also available in the installation manual. Outdoor temperature for auto mode, indoor temperature for auto mode, LWT for auto mode. With these three modes, you can set outdoor and indoor temperature for seasonal auto mode. In this mode, Thermo-V automatically changes the operation mode between heating and cooling according to the outdoor temperature and automatically calculates the target temperature for heating and cooling operation. By setting upper and lower temperature limit of outdoor air, water, and air temperature, the target temperature can be set. DHW set temperature. DHW set temperature menu is to determine minimum and maximum temperature for domestic hot water tank operation. And minimum temperature can be selected between 30 to 40 degrees Celsius and maximum temperature can be selected between 50 to 80 degrees Celsius. When DHW heater, called boost heater, is not used status, maximum temperature will be limited. Tank disinfection setting number 1. Tank disinfection setting 1 and 2 are the function to set the water heating operation to disinfect the water tank. In the tank disinfection setting 1, you can decide whether to use this function or not with the disinfection active option. And start day means the day of the week to operate its weekly operation. And start time means the time it starts the operation. Tank disinfection setting number 2. In the tank disinfection setting number 2, you can set three things. The maximum temperature for the disinfection, duration time, and first end time. Maximum temperature is the target temperature for the disinfection operation and can be set between 60 and 80 degrees Celsius. Duration time is a time maintained after the target temperature is reached. You can choose between 5 and 60 minutes. Forced end time is to forcefully cancel the work because target temperature is not reached after a certain period of time. This time can be set between 1 and 12 hours. The default setting for maximum temperature, duration time, and forced end time are 70 degrees Celsius, 10 minutes, and 1 hour respectively. The temperature profile during operation is presented on the screen. For details, please refer to the installation manual. Tank setting number 1. Tank setting 1 and 2 are to set the tank operation condition and to set the priority between space heating and domestic hot water heating. Tank setting 1 sets two parameters, minimum temperature and maximum outdoor temperature. Minimum temperature represents the gap of the water temperature between starting water temperature and maximum outdoor temperature. This value can be selected from 1 to 30 degrees Celsius. From the starting temperature, the compressor will operate to heat the water until it reaches the maximum outdoor temperature. This is the maximum temperature can be reached by compressor cycle without the booster heater. And selectable range is 40 to 58 degrees Celsius. Tank setting number 2. In the tank setting number 2, you can set the heat statuses and heating priority. His status is, is a marginal temperature to prevent the frequent turn on and off after it reaches the target temperature. If his status is, is reached, the booster heater stops. And when the temperature comes down again and reaches the target temperature, booster heater operates again. It can be set from 2 to 4 degrees Celsius. Heating priority is to set the priority whether to operate domestic hot water first 
or floor heating first when operation conditions are satisfied. The temperature profile during domestic hot water heating is presented on the screen. For details, please refer to the installation manual. Heater priority. Heater priority function is to determine whether to use booster heater and or backup heater for hot water operation. You can select whether to operate booster heater and the backup heater together or only booster heater. DHW time setting. DHW time setting function is to manage the hot water operation and floor heating operation. Active time is the maximum time duration which hot water heating operation can be continued without space heating. And it can be selected from 5 to 95 minutes. Stop time is to secure the time duration for the minimum space heating operation and it can be selected from 0 to 600 minutes. Booster heater delay time is the delay time from the start of the hot water operation to start of the booster heater operation. And it can be selected in the range of 10 to 1440 minutes. Solar Thermal System In order to use Thermavi combined with Solar Thermal System, you have to set parameters in this setting. In Solar Collector Set Temperature, you can set minimum and maximum solar collector temperature at which the solar thermal system can be operated. And in DHW Set Temperature, you can set maximum temperature of domestic hot water tank that can be reached by solar thermal system. TH on off variable solar is the temperature difference between current solar thermal temperature and DHW tank temperature for start and stop. In the boost heater menu, you can select whether or not to use DHW tank boost heater. And in the solar pump flush schedule and solar pump flush setting, you can reserve the schedule for solar pump flush operation and set the number of cycle and duration. At last, you can perform the test run for solar pump using solar pump test run menu. Pumped test run. Pump test run is the test run function for the water pump. With this function, you can test the functionality of air vent valve and integrity of the piping. Also, you can adjust pump capacity for the system to meet the appropriate level by repeating the test running. Once the test run starts, the water pump operates for one hour and displays pump test run sign on the screen. Anti-freezing temperature. Anti-freezing temperature function is used to set the offset temperature for the freeze protection logic. Since the freezing temperature of water is lowered with the help of added antifreeze in the system, reference temperature for Thermavis freeze protection logic can also be lowered. This offset temperature varies based on the concentration of antifreeze. Please refer to the installation manual for details. Dry contact mode. Dry contact mode is used only when the dry contact device is separately purchased and installed. In this menu, you can choose the operation method when dry contact sends on signal to our product. For example, when on signal is received with auto setting, Therma V will turn on automatically while releasing the hard lock. On the other hand, with manual setting, Therma V will remain turned off and only hard lock will be released. In addition, during dry contact off status, Therma V will be off with hard lock. Central Control Address The central control address is to set the central control address of the indoor unit when the central controller is connected. It can be set from 00 to FF, and indoor units with the same central controller must not have duplicated addresses. CNCC CNCC is to input if dry contact is installed or not. Depending on the selection, Dry contact can be automatically recognized or selected to use or neglect the installed dry contact. CNEXT With CNEXT setting, the product operates according to the external contact signal input. Not used means that input signal through CNEXT is not received. And simple operation means that input signal through CNEXT is used to decide to start or stop. 
simple dry contact is the same as using input signal through CNXT to start and stop. But additionally, when the unit is stopped, the lock is set. Single emergency stop means that input signal through CNXT is used as an emergency stop function. Third party boiler. If you want to combine third party heat source with ThermaV, for instance, external boiler, you have to set this function. First, select use, and then choose whether third party boiler operates manually or automatically depends on the outdoor temperature. If it is selected as manual, the menu for boiler operation is displayed in user setting. User can control it manually. On the other hand, if it is selected as auto, the third-party boiler operates automatically by comparing the outdoor temperature and preset temperature. When outdoor temperature is higher than set temperature plus hystasis temperature, the boiler stops running and starts ThermaV after 45 seconds. Meter interface Meter interface is used to monitor the power consumption and heat production by using meter interface module. If you want to use meter interface module, set mode bus address to B0 or B1. Otherwise, you can keep it not used. In the unit menu, you can set the coefficient value for converting pulse signal to electricity. Port 1 to 3 is for pulse input of watt hour meter installed in order to monitor the power consumption. Port 3 can be used when monitoring the power consumption of hot water operation is necessary. Port 4 is setting for pulse input of calometer installed for calorie monitoring. Energy state. Energy state function is to control the product according to the energy state of ESS or electrical grid. When the state of ESS or electrical grid is transmitted to ThermaV, it automatically changes the target temperature of heating, cooling, and domestic hot water by setting offset value according to the energy state. It is possible to select either signal mode or mode bus mode according to the communication type between product and the ESS or grid. Pump and indoor operation time pump operation time and indoor unit operation time. You can check the operation time of main water pump and indoor unit as accumulation. It helps to estimate the mechanical life. Data logging. Data logging is a function that monitors the operation status such as date, time, operation status, target temperature, water inlet and outlet temperature, along with the error code if error code occurs in the product. 